Hey, 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 everyone. Anthony Fantano here, Internet's busiest music nerd. I hope you're doing well. Let's talk about a controversy that has been in development over the past week. Compton rapper YG has come under fire over some lyrics on his debut record, My Crazy Life. I don't know if you guys paid too much attention to that record. I thought it was okay. A few highlights here and there, but the song Meet the Flockers kicks off in a very peculiar way. Now, this track, narrative-wise, on the LP is all about uh, home invasion home invading, the act of doing so. And at the very start of the song, the track essentially like, you know, recommends in order to have a successful home invasion, uh, you know, hit up a Chinese neighborhood because they don't believe in bank accounts. This was enough to create a stir on the internet, also create a stir over at the YouTube platform where there has been coverage of Asian employees there and employees in general complaining about the song being on the platform, wanting it taken down. There was a whole drama at YouTube over that. Eventually, YouTube decided to just keep the track up, leave it alone, leave it there, don't touch it, under claims that, you know, doing something about it would uh, become a slippery slope. Despite the fact that if you look at YouTube's hate speech policies, uh, I mean, this track would very much fit under that, it says, hate speech is not allowed on YouTube. We remove content promoting violence or hatred against individuals or groups based on any of the following attributes and like race is right there. It doesn't say anything here about, oh, well, if it's in a piece of art, if it's a song. So yes, YouTube pretty much announced they're not gonna do anything about this. It would be stepping over some sort of line. And I guess you would imagine that uh, the whole story and everything would stop right there, but no. Uh, past this point, despite YouTube sort of spitting uh, uh, in the face of their own hate speech policy, the track then ended up going down along with My Crazy Life off of streaming platforms entirely. So it didn't even matter what stupid decision YouTube made because like, the streaming platforms and the labels essentially pulled the song, pulled the record. So now, as far as I can tell, searching for it on streaming platforms and on YouTube, uh, the song and My Crazy Life seem to be back, but Meet the Flockers is edited now. Now the track doesn't, whether you're listening to uh, the explicit version or the non-explicit version, uh, explicitly say what type of neighborhood you need to be invading. In a weird way, I can't really help but feel like YouTube comes out of this with egg on its face, but I'm not surprised, especially considering the success of guys like Steven Crowder on the platform, somebody who on YouTube has literally done yellow face and is currently in the middle of a slap on the wrist, which I'm sure he will bounce back from eventually over election fraud claims. But look, when it comes to my own personal opinion on this stuff, I mean, yeah, I feel like the track does kind of in a very pointed way, lyrically target a certain group of people for violence. It does. While I do understand that this is a narrative and it's a story and it's art, it's artistic expression. And personally, no, I don't think YG wants people uh, of Asian descent to just be mercilessly robbed at every turn. This track can be all those things, can be those seemingly harmless things, but still voice a harmful sentiment. And for those who are freaking over uh, the future of free expression and so on and so forth, look, th there is kind of a precedent for this sort of thing with a hip hop record that I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with, uh, Tribe Called Quest, Low End Theory. Uh, many of you guys uh, may have not heard of the track Georgie Porgy. If you haven't, uh, look it up. It's floating around YouTube as well. It's floating around the internet. It's a Tribe Called Quest song. It is disgustingly homophobic. The label wouldn't have the song on the record. And you know what? Uh, Low End Theory went on to be one of the greatest hip hop albums of all time. And thank God that song is not on that goddamn record because it would just be an ear sore. And look, I'm not coming on here and advocating for uh, the cancellation of YG and the destruction of YG's career or anybody else like him that might be caught in a similar situation over past lyrics and so on and so forth. The responsibility of what we say, where we say it, and how we say it, and how that can be interpreted and carried in the internet age is a reality that, that all of us are grappling with. Generally, speaking, I think people should be given the opportunity to 
change, to learn, to redeem, and the removal of lyrics like these should be a part of that process. I'm glad that they're gone. I don't think putting out a message like this is a really a great thing. As I said before, the song and the record it comes from seems to be back everywhere. If you guys still want to listen to it, it's there. Uh, it's just now you know, the edited version. And hey, if you bought a CD copy back in the day of the album, I, I guess, you know, you've you've got the original, I suppose. Make sure to let me know what you guys think of this whole debacle in the comments down below. The editing of the song, YouTube's decision to uh, leave it up, but then it gets taken down anyway. The removal of the album, but then subsequent re-upload of it to streaming platforms. Let me know. All right, over here next to my head is another video that you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, YG, forever.